Praise God. Amen. 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 What time is it? Sit down behind that. What time <laughs> is it? Most gracious Father, we thank you for life, heaven, strength, and thank you for watching. Thank you for us asking you to us and go with us. We thank you for all that you have done this, Lord. We understand the times that we're in, Lord, and we don't. We will before the end of the day. We understand that, God, you're moving like never moved before, and that the seasons are moving faster than we ever thought they would ever move. And Lord, in peace. Because of who you are, Lord, help us to keep our eyes open. Help us to see what is going on. Help us to realize it's time out for playing church. It's time out for playing this and playing this. It's time to get real like we've never gotten real before. And we bless you for it right now. We thank you for the word that's going to come forth today. We thank you that it's going to fall on good ground. We thank you that it's going to take root. We thank you that it's going to go across the airways and the byways. And we bless you and we glorify you in Jesus' name. And everyone say amen. 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 Give God some I'm going to tell you to get your Bibles if you want to follow along, but we're going to do it out of the Messenger Bible today, and unless you got a Messenger Bible, and just so you know, you're going to be, we're going to be coming from 2 Timothy 3rd chapter, verse 1 through 7. 2 Timothy 3rd chapter, verses 1 through 2nd. We're talking about what time it is, because understand that when we look at the clock and stuff, a lot of times when we look at the clock, we say, oh, it's 3 o'clock or 10 o'clock. And that's, that's the natural time. But the fact is, as Christians, as believers, we need to know what the spiritual time is about. All right, what all right, sir. All land. right. And if we look at what's going on in the land, we don't need to look on our wristwatch. We don't need to look on our cell phone. You better go ahead. You better go ahead. And, and tell what time it is. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And this is real. This is not fake. You don't have to set this clock here. Mm -hmm. This clock is automatically set by God himself. Yes, yes. That there are certain things that's taking place that God has already put in motion. And no matter if you take the battery out, no matter if you try. See, one thing about this time here, you don't have to fast forward. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to throw it back. My Lord. Y'all know, every, every, just a few weeks ago, we were sitting there moving the clock back. Got that mm -hmm. extra hour of sleep. But God time is strictly staying on his schedule. Amen. There's nothing we can do about it. There's nothing we can do about it. So as we go forward, we're talking about what time it is. And the message up here, right here, start verse 1, as we go to the third verse 5. On the count of three, let us read. One, two, three, read. Don't be naive. There are difficult times ahead. As the end approaches, people are going to be self-absorbed, money-hungry, self-promoting, stuck up. Profane, contemptuous of parents, crude, coarse, dog eat dog, unbending, slanderers, impulsively wild, savage, cynical, treacherous, ruthless, bloated windbags, addicted to lust, and allergic to God. My Lord. They'll make a show of religion, but behind the scenes, they're animals. Stay clear of these people. Next one. Amen. Amen. Next one. Amen. Well, I didn't Amen. Amen. But church say amen. There I don't guess there is. <laughs> you gotta get back there and try to fix it. Oh, it is. Uh, just so that's people. Good, that's good. Uh, all right. That was enough to take in and mess you up. That was a lot to chew, Pastor. Oh, He's still trying to chew on that. Uh, uh, yeah. uh, that's all right. 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 That's all right. 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 Glory to God. We He's reminding you of some people that you might know. Right. 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 This reminds you of what's going on in our country, don't it? Right. This lets you know that the fact is what time we're in. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. One, two, three, read. These are the kind of people who smooth talk themselves into the homes of unstable and needy women and take advantage of them. My Lord. Women who depressed by their sinfulness take up with every new religious fad that calls itself true. They get exploited every time and never really learn. Oh, I know we shouldn't have read no more. Oh, my goodness. I, 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 Amen, amen, Woo! amen. Let's, 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 let's all down there. It's all right. The truth will keep you free. Put your Bible down. Go around and tell three people, ask three people, what time is it? 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 Oh my God, my God. You may have a seat once you finish. I know you don't want to read that. No, 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 no. Me and I know we don't want to acknowledge the truth. Come on then. You know, throughout the world, in certain places, there are four or five, six clocks in a person's house. If you uh, were in the military, you would find and had a chance to go to some command bases or places like that, you may find four or five different clocks in an office because they're che keeping track of time across the country. You may have three or four clocks in your house and they may all be set at the correct time or some of them may be set at different times, you know. Few minutes fast here, a few minutes slow here. You may have one or two. I know we I know in our house there I probably got about two or three maybe at the right time. And the rest of them there may be a little bit fast, you know. So when I look at it, I say I gotta move a little faster then. <laughs> and even though I kinda every now and then realize that the fact is this is a little fast, I'm so caught up in what's going on, I don't even try to subtract, bro. I got two or three minutes still. <laughs> But we live off we live our life based off of the clock. We gotta be at certain places at right. certain times. That's time. true, right? You right. gotta right. be at work at a certain time. So that means you can't procrastinate a lot when you're trying to go to work. Mm -hmm. You get out there in the traffic, get heavy, slow down, then you're looking at the clock and you call them in and tell somebody, I'm gonna be a little late. Uh, when we get off of work, we're trying to get home, or we just to get home and they think, you know, y'all know we the old expression how time flies. Mm -hmm. And then as you look around, it looks like you're just flying. No. See, like, as soon as you get home, now the, the work ain't been a long day. You be sitting there saying, boy, I'll be glad when 5 o'clock get here, whatever time. But as soon as it get here, you get home, then you start looking around. You do this and you do that, and Pastor Les will be saying all the time, good grief, it's 9 o'clock already? It's 10 o'clock. And now, especially now that we don't move back and it's getting darker even quicker right. now. Right. Oh, yeah. It's just sitting like before you know it. It's time to go to bed. Yeah. It's time to go to bed. This is this is this is the way we live our life on. We're based off of time. We gotta be somewhere. Me and Pastor Vanessa went out uh Saturday, uh Friday when we went out somewhere. Yes, uh Friday then. I had already set reservations. We need to be there at four o'clock, left here about three twenty, thinking that it was gonna be a good time Friday, you know. Going into Atlanta, you'd be surprised how much traffic was going into Atlanta at three o'clock in the evening. Uh -huh. I'm sitting there saying, "Wait a minute! Now I can see coming out or six o'clock in the morning, but this is going into Atlanta. All this traffic. I'm looking at the clock, looking at the clock, and I say, okay, let me call this place and let them know we're gonna be late. We're gonna be late because we're based on time." We do a lot of everything we do. We do a lot of it all the time. That's true. Yeah. But we see, we're caught up in man time. But as Christians, we shouldn't be caught up in man time. We should be caught up in God's time. Amen. Amen somebody. That's right. God's God has a clock that never stops running. Don't have to change the batteries. Oh, sure enough, sure enough. It's not based on standard time or whatever time. It's based on what he has set in motion. Yes, yes. And if we pay attention to what the clock is saying, come on, sir. What come is going on? We'll know what time it is. Mm -hmm. We'll know what's going on. Mm -hmm. And guess what? It'll help us prepare to know that. You know what? It's time I'll be playing church. Mm -hmm. Amen. Something. Amen. Mm -hmm. 
It's just like when we were talking about the different ages and what age we're in, which is uh, grace and the church. If we don't know what age we're in, we don't know what time it is, you're going to be lost. Mm. Mm. Or you're going to be left behind. My Lord. Y'all follow me? We don't want to be left behind. Don't be left behind. And don't nobody want to be left behind. The worst thing you can do is think you leaving on time, and when you get somewhere, all of a sudden you realize you was later than you thought. Everything mm -hmm. else done moved out on time. Mm -hmm. our, our pastor, uh, Apostle Jones, used to say that the church started at 10 o'clock, and you showed up at 10.01, and, and, and uh, God said he's going to meet you, then you show up at 10.01, and he ain't there. Guess what? He was on time. You was late. Hey, was Lord, have mercy. You missed the boat. And so many of us are missing the boat because we're not paying attention to the time. We're not paying attention to it. And so here we got some things we need to look at. We need to ask ourselves. We need to, we need to see what is going on. And see, this is Paul talking to Timothy. And he, Timothy is one of his sons, not his natural son, but he took him up as his son. And he's teaching him, a young fellow, he's teaching him some things. And this is all this like Timothy, we're talking. He said, don't be naive. How many of us are naive? Yeah, amen. Hey, you can set you free. Church. If you're the one raised that hand. Yeah, you know. <laughs> he said, don't be naive. Be naive. He said, there are difficult times ahead. We see what's going on, but what we see what's going on is going to be a lot worse than what's, like, what's coming. We see what's happening now. We think that's bad. Oh, this is going on with the president. This is going on with the Senate and, and our household on our job. But t let me tell you that, it's going to be a lot worse. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's going to be a lot worse. Mm -hmm. He said, don't be naive. He said, there are difficult days ahead. As the end approach, tell somebody the end's approaching. The end's, the end's approaching. approaching. Come on, look them in the face and tell them, say the end's approaching. The, the end's end approaching. approaching. Now we've been, had, we've been hearing that, and we've been saying that for, for decades and centuries and stuff. But guess what? It's real. And it's closer today than it was yesterday. Oh, yeah. So he said, as the end approach, people are going to self absorb He said, people are going to be self absorbed Caught up in their own self. That's right. That's right. Y'all know some folks like that. When you try to get up with them, they're too busy. They got their own thing going. And if they're going to help you, they won't know what's in it for them. That's what, that's what it's about. They all just, all they are is whatever they do, it's got to benefit them. Oh, sure enough. So he said, self so He said, money hungry. Oh, that's a big one. Mm. Get the dollar. <laughs> I got to get that dollar. Ain't no way have to be a dollar man. I got to get that 50 cents. I got to get that coin. I got to have it. I got to have it. I got to have it. I don't care what it takes. I got to have it. We know some people like that. Look at what's going on in the world today. Everything, it, it, the Bible said, for the love of money is the root of all evil. People are so caught up in having money and they're making that mighty dollar and stuff, they don't care who they cut, who they're on the buy, no, who they got to get over. They don't care. That's right. All they want is change in my pocket. That's all they want. That's, 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 and you, you know people, and guess what? We can get caught up in the same thing. Oh, yeah. Yes, that's oh, Amen, yeah. that's somebody. True. That's true. We can get caught up in the same thing. Oh, yeah. See, understand, what we're looking at, it's not just at the world. Mm. But what about us? Mm. Are we so caught up in some of this stuff here that we're blind to the time ourselves? Oh, my, my Lord. Lord. Yes, sir. Because we can't be. Oh, yeah. We can't walk around here and think we got every eye dot and every teeth crossed. No, we, we, we got some things up here, too, that we may need to check. He said, money hunter, self-promoter. Hey, it's about me. It's about me. How many folks you know like that? Yes. What about yourself? Are you like that? That when you're doing something, you're looking out for me? I ain't going to call your name since you just raised your hand. <laughs> Are we like that? How, do, how are we when we're on our job? Mm -mm. How are we when we're around our friends? Mm -mm. How are we when we're in the church? My Lord. Mm -hmm. I got to be one in the limelight. Mm -hmm. If my name ain't on the, 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 uh, uh, in charge of the choir or the praise team or something, mm -hmm. is that about me? Mm -hmm. 
I ain't talking about nobody here. Sucker. Profound. Stuck up. Stuck up. Stuck up. Once you think they better than everybody oh, else. Yeah. Oh. You know when you walk around, you got your head up in the air. Oh. You know you're better than everybody else. I saw something, and I know this is a little bit not related to the message, but I saw a cartoon in USA Today. USA Today is a newspaper if you never uh, read it. And they show political cartoons and they show cartoons from different parts of the states, different states. And they show this one uh, cartoon. And before I say this disclaimer, I'm not a Donald Trump hater. Okay, I don't hate Donald Trump. Okay, he's president, the Bible tells us we're supposed to love everybody, pray for our enemies. Yeah, am I telling the truth? Yes. All right, sorry, because I know this is on Facebook, and I want to make sure my words are clear. But I saw him, they had him on top of a horse, and they had the rest of some of the uh, GOP members around him, and they were showing tax exempt, and they were showing health care, and they were showing different things that he's been trying to do. And he's on his horse, and you can stay at the uh, uh, elements of smell going across a stink and smell and all of them had a clothespin on their nose. <laughs> oh my gosh. In other words, they were saying that he was riding on a horse and where he was going, all the stuff he was trying to do was stinking, but they were riding up, they were right there with him. <laughs> they was following with him. And some people are so stuck up, they don't care how things smell, they're going to stick with it. That's true. Because they are caught up in themselves. That's true. Y'all follow me? Mm -hmm. And so, here he is. He says, stuck up. Well, fine. So there'll be the stuff you say sometimes. Your attitude. Mm -hmm. How you do things. What do we like? What do we see what's going on in this country? Are we paying attention to what's going on? Mm -hmm. In order to know, to, in order to understand the time that we're in, we got to be aware of what's going on. Some yeah, of us, that's yeah. true. Some that's of us true. don't want don't want to sit up here and look at news. We just want to. Put our, uh, put our eyes strictly in the soap operas or this right here and say God in control. How are you going to pray for what God, what you need God to do if you don't know what's going on? Oh, I have mercy. Amen, somebody. Amen. That's true. This one here, contempt, contempt, contemptuous of parents. That's talking about kids. Mm. And we got some kids out there that sit up here and don't respect their parents whatsoever. Oh, yeah. Yet, yeah, that's the one, that's part of the first Ten Commandments that God gave over there in Deuteronomy. In Deuteronomy, he tells the children, he said, honor your parents, your father, and your mother that your days may live long. That's a promise that he gave the kids. How many kids you know how they sit there and talk to their parents? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You see it? Oh, yeah. You see it? Some parents had helped it alone. Mm -hmm. yeah. Amen, somebody. Amen. Some parents sit up there and, and, and they just sit up there. Whatever they can do, they, they fine with it. Mm -hmm. And Lord. some parents have done the best they, they could do, but their kids have got caught up in a situation, caught up in some stuff who they're hanging out with. Yeah. Do that. And the parents don't want to sit up there and do anything about it. Mm -hmm. You got, y'all, come on, man. I'm like, my Lord. We see what is going on. Oh, yes. Signs of the time. We see the signs of the time. This is what's time going on. You got kids don't respect their parents, don't even respect themselves. That's right. We see what's going on. They cuss their parents out. They cuss the neighbor out. They cuss the cops out. They cuss everybody out. They don't care. Yes, yes, yes. I told y'all what they did in my patrol car last week. Some of them got a hold of a fire extinguisher with the spray. Just spray it on the car. Patrol car. Let's see. Five, five of them. Sprayed 16 cars. Well, I live in. Pastor Vanessa got a little spray on her car. My truck got sprayed. Just spray it. Nothing to do. They thought it was fun. If somebody walked out that door at nighttime and saw them doing something to that car and shot them, that, that ain't fun. It'd have been a different story. Mm -hmm. Why you do that to my kid, Mike? I got a good kid. Mm -hmm. What is your kid doing out after midnight? Spraying, damaging somebody else's car. Right. Y'all follow me? Yes. yes. You know, let me hear. Crew. Of course. 
Dog eating dog. What kind of society we live in? Dog eating dog. How many of us heard that expression before? Of course. Dog mm -hmm. eating dog. I'm gonna get mine. You get yours. Best That's it. I'm gonna get mine. You gotta get yours. How are you gonna get it? And if you leave yours out there, I'm gonna get yours too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ain't that what we say? Yes, mm -hmm. Isn't that society like that? And the sad part, a lot of this stuff here is even in the church. You're right. That's right. Amen, Preacher. somebody. Amen. This is the church. Yeah, it is. You got members in the church smiling in your face behind your you back. Better in go ahead. You better go ahead. That's real. They're trying to figure out how they're going to get over on you. They don't like what you're doing. They don't like your position. They don't like in it. They don't like how God blessing you, but they don't want to go the route you went. That's right. And so they're out there trying to. And when you're in that doggy dog world, you don't care about nobody but yourself. Sure enough, sure enough. See what I'm saying? Some of this here relate to each other. When I'm self-absorbed, I'm dog eat dog world. I don't care nothing about you. Y'all follow me? Yes, sir. I got both of them right there together. I got both of them right there together because it's about me. Y'all know the three uh, uh, three M's? Me, myself, and one I. That's me. Okay? Me, myself, and I. Me, myself, that's another M, and the one I. Me, myself, and I. It ain't my family. It's me. I don't even care if they starve. As long as I eat good. Help us, Lord. Help us. Hey, you got people out there. You on your own. You on your own. Unbending, slender, impulsive, impulsively wild, savage. All of these. All of these. All of these things is what we look at. What's going on? In our country, we follow leaders. All of this is what's going on. And we're not paying attention to the time. And because we're not paying attention to the time, we get caught up in this. Oh, yes. oh, Lord. oh Lord. Yeah. Amen, somebody. It's real. We get caught up in this. We get caught up in it. And you know what? It's not hard. It's easy. So easy. It's so easy. Slip and slide. <laughs> little of this, a little of that. The next thing you know, you're in a situation you don't know how you got it. I got a sweet tongue. Oh, you know what? This person did this to me, so I'm going to do that back to them. I look at veggie tales sometimes. I, I looked at that when the grandkids were all the house. When they was looking at one yesterday, one I hadn't seen before, so I looked at it with them. And Larry, y'all know who Larry is, right? The cucumber. Larry was, uh, he was going into outer space. And on his way going into outer space, he stopped by, they had, this is way in the future. Because, I mean, Larry and him in the future, we still in the past compared to them. <laughs> but anyway, they got this big uh, space house out there in the space to where the little olive lady, I can't think of her name, She's like an olive or something like that. Miss Blueberry or something. Oh, Madam Blueberry. Madam Blueberry. Blue okay, I got it right. Madam Blueberry. See, I ain't the only one looking at Veggie Tales. So she looked, she was she was on this uh she was on the uh, house, the big space house, and she had made this huge, huge pie. I mean tremendous. And it was a red berry, it was a cherry pie. She made the pie. And she said she's gonna eat the whole thing. I'm talking about big, you know. Uh, bigger than this building. And so anyway, she's sitting up there. She's uh, eating the pie. Uh, she's got the pie. And Larry lands on the moon. So when he lands on the moon, he's got the fl uh, flag. You know, first cucumber laying on the moon with a flag with a house on it. And so he's going to put this in the ground. Okay. So make a long story short, some pirates that are out here in space they now want to claim the moon for themselves. <laughs> and so they said they tricked Larry into the fact that they put their flag down before Larry did. Because Larry think they trying to trick him. And Larry got tricked by the trickster. <laughs> so he lets them put their flag in the ground. And now Larry's mad because he wants the planet. He wants the moon and he can't claim it because the Paris, Paris, uh, Paris got the moon. Paris. The Paris got the moon. So he goes back to Madam <laughs> Blueberry because they've been bombing him with pies. This is why the pie comes in. Because, see, they've been bombing him with pies, you know, shooting pies. In. Instead of throwing rocks and shooting, they've been throwing pies at him. 
So he goes back to Madam Blueberry. Madam Blueberry, you got that pot? She said, yeah, I'm finna shoot this pot at the pirates. <laughs> That's what he's getting ready to do. So he jumps in there, she's trying to tell him, you don't treat hatefulness like that. You treat hatefulness with kindness, you know, because it's a Christian story. Mm -hmm. So he shoots the pot. Madam Blueberry tells him this ain't the way it's supposed to be. So both of them get on spaceships, they go out there, and they're trying to stop this huge pie. And so Brother Anthony and Minister Justin come up here. to the planet because I've been shot. And they're trying to stop me from getting there. And so they couldn't do it the first time because they were both weak. <laughs> and then Madam Blueberry said, we're going to supercharge our uh, rocket, our backpack on it. So she, they said, Larry said, we, got, we can do that. She said, yeah. So she said, we're going to do it again. So they supercharged and then they hit me again. And this time they don't stop me, but they slow me down. Uh -huh. They slow me down. So I, instead of coming at the pirates full force, by the time I get right there where the pirates at, they don't stop me from hitting. Them. And so what am I saying? She stopped him from treating ugly with ugly. Uh -huh. Because Amen. we do that. Amen. We do that. Thank you. We do that. We treat, uh, and this is this is all part of it. When we sit up here, we get self-absorbed. We get money hungry. We get self on. We get all of this. All this is the fact that this here, we treat people different than the way God requires us to treat them. That's true. We don't treat people the way Christ requires. If you do something to me, if you kill my dog, I'm gonna kill your cat. Mm. We've heard that before. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We sit up there, we go to the store. Cashier sit up there, she make a mistake on the money. She gives us a little bit more change back than she's supposed to. Oh, Ooh. yes. Oh, yeah, Lord, I'm blessed me today. Oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> but who ended up paying for that? The cashier. The cashier does. Mask is important. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, she put it in. Hey, it ain't my fault. She can't count. It ain't my fault she put it in the machine roll. I'm going to give it to the homeless person on the street, Pastor. <laughs> God bless me to be a blessing. Why I don't do care it? who tell <laughs> we, we sit up here and we do these things. If we look at what's going on in the world today, if we look at what's happening, if we see the time, how much of this do we really get caught up in? How much of this here do we really get involved in? How much of this is it is it, uh, is part of us? How much? How are we gonna witness to others and we got a lot of baggage we carry? And I'm not saying for us to be, I'm not saying for us to go ahead on and be uh, perfect. God is not asking us to be perfect, but God asks us don't act the way everybody else act. Amen. He said us don't act the way everybody else act. Amen. Amen. So we go and we see that. He said, windbag. Y'all know what a big windbag is. I mean, y'all, I mean, them y'all know. I know a bunch of them. Don't say me. Ooh -wee. <laughs> hey, I got me some time to become a windbag. Windbag, always talking. Think they know everything. Windbag, addicted to lust and allergic to God. My, my, my. My, my, my. Mm. my, my, my. Addicted to lust. But you're allergic to God. Mm. That's sad. That is. That is. That's rough. Right. And, and, and because we are addicted to these things here, when God tried to deal with us on some of this stuff here, ah, oh, no, nah, he ain't talking to me. Mm. Nah, this ain't, this, this is, nope. God, no, nah, he's talking to that next one. That's why when we come to church sometimes we say, Oh, I wish Sister So and So was here. Oh, I wish Brother So and So was here. They need to hear this message. My Lord. Mm -hmm. 
Don't we say that? Yes. Have we not yes. said that? Yes. yes. You ever thought that the reason why they're not here because God wants you? You need to yes. uh -huh. uh -huh. There was some message that was just something for you. Uh -huh. See, when, here's the understanding. When we don't want to hear something, we always say somebody else needs to hear that. <laughs> when we think we got it going on, I love my mom. I love my mom. Don't get me wrong. But I know when my mother don't want to hear something I got to say. Oh, <laughs> I know it. Yes. Ain't no if, if. She will change the subject quick. <laughs> sure will. My mother, it's just like driving. She going down the road. I'm telling her to go straight. Hey, I'm going to turn this way. <laughs> she will. I mean, and that, that's a love. She knows it. And guess what? I keep on talking, though. <laughs> she keep on, I keep, she keep on, on driving, too. <laughs> she don't pay no attention. <laughs> but I got my piece <laughs> out. <laughs> Whether she heard it, I know she now. heard it. How much she applied is a different thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Y'all follow me? Yeah. And we're like Tell that. You the we're doing. like that. <laughs> We are like that. We don't want to hear what somebody's trying to tell us that could be true. So we sit up here. We're addicted to lust and religion of God. They make a sure religion. Are we doing that? Are we doing that? Are we doing that? Are we making a show of religion? Do we sit up here and play games with it? We sit up there and try to tell somebody how they're supposed to act, and we act in a different way. I want y'all to think about this here. We are supposed to be ambassadors Come on now. Oh, yeah. for Christ. Oh, yeah. yes. What kind of ambassadors are we? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm not talking about when we're in church. Right, right. What about when we're out there on the street? Oh, yes. 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 What about when we're around our friends? Mm -hmm. What about when we're around our neighbors? What about when we're around nobody that, does, that knows us? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What about when we're in another state or another oh, city oh, that oh, nobody oh, knows yes. us? That's real. You ever thought that the fact that it said no matter where you go, God sees all? Oh, yes, sir. Oh, yes. Yes, sir. And God has no problem. You keeping your mess, he don't have no problem squealing on you. Mm. He don't have no problem. We're ambassadors for Christ. But sometimes we make a joke. And I hate the word religion. I like the word our Christian, our life as a believer. We make a joke out of it. And God is not pleased with that. No, he's not. He said, put behind the scene, but behind the scene, animals. That's what, that's, that's what if you look at a doggy dog or that's two, what are dogs? Animals. Y'all trying to get me to say something. I ain't going to say nothing. <laughs> I would show sure us tip the dog. <laughs> animals. And that's not what God, come on now. What time is it? How are we, what are we showing as believers? Are we paying attention to the time? Or are we so caught up in it? It don't take but a little bit. It don't take but a little bit. Y'all follow me? Amen. It don't take but a little bit. He said, but behind the scenes animals. Stay clear of these people. Sometimes we got to stay clear of ourselves. Sometimes we got to stay clear of ourselves. Because God is not pleased. He's not pleased. Next one up there. And so these are the kind of people who smooth talk. Y'all know what that means, don't you? Yeah, smooth talk is in the house. Anybody raise their hand? <laughs> Thank you, brother. Thank you, Pastor Ness. Thank you, Sister Erica. Being true. Y'all know they're smooth talkers. Everybody in here one time or another was a smooth talker. Come on, you know how you were. You don't know what a smooth talker is? No, I said I don't think I was successful at that. Oh, you were successful. Not to say you didn't try to play it, though, right? Okay. All right. Uh, <laughs> oh, so maybe you were better than you thought you were. <laughs> sister Yolanda said, Sister Yolanda sit back there, bless her like all the <laughs> It's 
you talking about? Mother Bird says, I ain't saying nothing. Because the ones that keep quiet, ooh, in her day, ooh, in the house. <laughs> what are you talking about? He said, he said they would talk themselves into your home. And that's the, and, and the thing is this here. I heard a salesman once tell me, he said, if I can get somebody to listen to me for five minutes, 90% of the time I'll make a sale. He said, all I need is five. If I accept that and say, can you just give me five minutes? He said, if I can get five minutes, he said, 90% of the time I will make a sale. Because he said, in the first five minutes, I'm working to catch him. And if I go before there, if I go longer than in five minutes, it's a good chance I'm going to be going to sell that product for him. So. And I never thought about it like that. And smooth talk, if you think about it, he says, he's the same way. Well, she's the same way. Because even though he's saying, he, it's, oh, oh, hey. Men and women can do it. Trying to get somebody out of you. See what they can get out of you. Y'all follow me? And smooth talk ain't always just what's coming out of your mouth. How you looking? Mmm, y'all know how you looking. Winking that eye. <laughs> y'all ain't gonna look at each other in the face, are you? Y'all looking straight at him. <laughs> Tell why people don't want to come feel shit. They're afraid I might bust them out. <laughs> Since they're looking straight at him, I will not look at him. <laughs> That's what it is. They get into your house. And they take over. And too many of us, and, and sin is like that. Oh, yes, it is. It looks so appetizing on the outside. It looks so good on the outside. But when it gets a hold of you, when it's not got it, it changes you. And we're getting caught. And we're getting changed because we're ignoring what's going on. We're ignoring what time it is. That's right. That's true. We're ignoring it. We're becoming absorbed to it. Let us see. Let us see it a little bit and make them know we're absorbed. Hey, it's no problem. Let it keep going on. We don't say nothing. We don't say, we don't say nothing. Homosexuality, we don't say nothing about it. It's the norm. Gender, kids, men feel like they women and can go into a woman's bathroom. No, it's just the norm. Ain't, ain't nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm. Ain't nothing wrong with that at all. Immune. Immune. Immune to it. And what I mean by what I said is all, I said because the fact is we, we go ahead on and we swallow it in and we deal with it. Right? And, and deal with it is, hey, I want to make no waves. I won't say nothing. That's what I'm saying, absorbed by it. And so he goes on, he said, who smooth talk to church in the home of unstable and needy women. And he can, and Paul, uh, Paul's telling Timothy this, and he can say women, but in the day's time, it's men too. Oh, yes. I know y'all was getting love up wrong in y'all saw this street going, but in the day's time, it's men too. Needy, needy, needy. I need this. I need that. Can you help me? Can you do this for me? Can you do that for me? Needy. And they come in the hero. I got you. I'll take care of you. You know. And all the same time while they're talking to you on the front, they doing some stuff behind your back. You don't even know what's going on. You don't know what's going on. And, and, and. And it's sad because we can sit up here and we can look at the world and it starts off dealing with the world. But what about us as believers? What about us as Christians? What about us who are ambassadors for Christ? Why do we find ourselves going the same route there, though? How are we going to represent if we participate in <coughs> How are we going to represent as an ambassador, if I'm participating in what's going on. No, I How am I going to do that? How am I going to say that I'm a believer, and yet I'm doing what you're doing? That Christ is my God, and he's my leader, but yet I'm doing everything you're doing. I'm smooth talking. I'm a dog-eat-dog world. 
I'm sitting up here just concerned about myself. My Lord, my Lord. Where's my love and kindness? Where's my mercy and my grace? Come on, sir. Come on, sir. Where's all that the Bible that, that says I'm supposed to have? Where's that forgiveness? Where's that patience? Where is that right there if I'm caught up in the rest, all the rest of this stuff? I'm talking one thing and saying nothing. No, I have mercy. Forgive us, Lord. What time is it? My Lord. My Lord. Mm. What time is it? We see. But then we also don't see. Mm. I see what you're doing. Mm. I don't see what I'm doing. All right. All right. Do it there. Mm. Y'all follow me? Mm. We can quickly see what others are doing. That's why okay. if somebody else will, oh, boy. Billy should have been in here to hear this message. You see what Billy doing, mm, mm. but you ain't seen what you're doing. Ma, ma, ma. And here it is, you're doing more than Billy. You just mm. don't want to acknowledge it. My Lord. My Lord. So it said, take advantage of them. Women who are desperate by their sinfulness take up with every new religion bad that calls itself true. There are people out there jumping on anything that they think is the truth because they want to deny the real truth. Mm -hmm. Because the real truth is going to cost you something. Mm -hmm. it's going to change you. And people don't want people don't want the real truth. Mm -hmm. Give me a little bit, so I can still do what I'm doing, and I'm all right. Right, right, right. 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 But if you hold me to a standard, come on, sir. If you hold me to a standard, now wait a minute, I can't have that. Mm. I can't have that. Mm. And that's 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 why the church has gotten caught up because the church used to have a standard. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. And the church don't have a standard now. The standard has decreased. Now, we see that. And I'm going to tell you how everything is. It's even in our schools. Schools, in our schools, public and private schools. The fact is, they said, we set that set a grade level, but depending on who we got coming in, we may drop the level a little bit. Hmm. Yeah, Am I telling the truth? Oh, yeah. We may drop it a little bit. What happened to the standard that you had up here? The military, they used to have a standard up here. Now they done dropped the standard. They didn't drop it. They ain't told it away. They just decrease it. It ain't what it used to be. Instead of trying to bring folks up, we wishing that they're coming down to there. Mm. My Lord. Mm. Instead of us as believers going out and holding and holding ourselves and trying to bring people up to a standard, we dropping away there. Mm. And then we said they say, well, I come down to that level to bring them and show them Christ. Next thing you know, you caught up at their level and get worse. So he told me, he said, the truth. They get exploited every time and never really learn. How many of us are doing the same thing we saw there and still ain't learned? Mm -hmm. We still ain't learned. Mm -hmm. What we hanging out with, what we saying, what we looking at on TV, what we doing, amen somebody. Amen. Why in the house? How many of us? Oh, I know. I know. I know. I, know. I, I forgot. I forgot. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for bringing it back to me. God knows my heart. Uh. <laughs> That's one of our favorite scriptures. <laughs> the Spirit is willing. The flesh is weak. God knows my heart. Sufficient. His grace is sufficient for thee. <laughs> Y'all know how we work this thing. And boy, we keep them cars in our pocket. We keep them quick and have no problem. This is what you say in your word, Lord. We got no problem showing them. We got no problem. No problem. He'll forgive him, God. He'll forgive me seven times seven. He'll forgive him. So if I mess up, he forgive me. He know I'm weak. You know that, Lord. You already know what I'm going to do before I do it, Lord. So I'm just going to go and do it that way. I know you're for Oh, good Jesus. Hey, I mean, let the truth, let the church say amen. Because that's what we do. That's why we can. That's why when we look at that, we can look at others. But how many of us got to bite off some of them apples up there? Oh yeah. How many of us? How many of us? Well, every now and then, you know, you know, every now and then, I might 
drip that way. You know, it's not an everyday thing, you know. I mean, that's what we say. That's what, and, and you know what? I always hear me say, a lie don't care who tell it. Just as long as it get told. And that's what we do. We explore it. We don't care. We don't care. But as ambassadors, we right. should. All right. All right. Of who we represent. Yes. 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 Not that we got every I dot, every T cross, but the fact is you should want to be the best ambassador you can be. Yeah. When you see what's going on, when you know what time it is, you should allow yourself to get caught up in it because God said that warning comes before destruction. Yeah. And he said, for every temptation, I'll make a way out. Yes. Only if you're looking for that way out will you see it. Some of us don't want to see it. Okay. All right. It's real, Pastor. It's real. Y'all know that's the truth. We don't want to see it. Because it takes away from that good thing I got going on. Mm. Mm. Ma, ma, ma. Quiet in the house. Real. I'm talking about food now. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all know. Like, you'll see that, you know. Glory to God. Yeah, know how y'all see, you know, you know, you go to a restaurant and buffet. Buffets are the worst place you can go. I, don't, I go quite a few, of them, but buffets are the worst. Because it's that all you can eat, and you know you can't eat all that you see, but you sure try. You sure, and then here's your excuse I'm going to get my money's worth. <laughs> Y'all know how we do that. I paid 15 I paid $25. I'm going to get my money's worth. No, you ain't. Not unless you go out there and eat the most expensive meat and you just eat that and don't eat nothing else. And maybe about three or four pounds of that. That's the only way. But if you eat anything else, you can forget it. You can get your money's worth. And here's the deal. Because we're and because we're sucking on the sin so hard, when we walk out, we walk out miserable. Y'all ever walked out? Push your pants down, fellas. Don't loosen up a belt or two under the table. I ain't gonna lie to you, I have. <laughs> One notch gotta come out a little bit. <laughs> Since so Erica tell y'all a little secret, ladies, that's why she knows. She, had, she said, wear a sweatpant. <laughs> Room to breathe forever. <laughs> that tells you she'll been through a few buffets. And here's the thing. Here's the thing. I like what, I like what she brought in because we do do that. We participate in sin and we try to cover it up. <laughs> We try to cover it up. We don't want nobody to know we got ate so much of it. We try to cover it up. Oh yeah, I walk in like this, I'm gonna walk out like that. Day. You know, I'm just waiting here and everything. And only they say, ooh. Oh boy. Woo. Ooh. We try to cover it up. We try to cover it up, but see, no matter what we cover up, God sees it. Oh yes, he does. He sees it. We can't hide it from him. Mm -hmm. So what kind of ambassadors are? Do we see what time it is? And if we do, why we're not saying anything? My, my, my. Why we're not seeking my, God that we never seek him before? Oh, God. Why we're not praying and say, Lord, you see what's going on because he sees better than you? Why are yeah. you not saying, Lord, can, can, what, what can we do to change this? Because I know this ain't pleasing in your sight. Yes. My Lord. Help me to be strong on my job. Help me to be strong in my school. Help me to be strong in my marriage. Help me to be strong in my family. That I don't get caught up in it. That I can be the one who still love them, but not participate in what they're doing. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Have you ever thought about that? That's, that's knowing what time it is. That's paying attention to the time. That's paying attention to what's going on. Yes, yes. That's paying God, help me. Yes. Help me. And that's what it's about. Glory to God. What are we showing the world? What parts? Go back some, please. Um. 
What parts have you been from? What parts? My Lord. That has a strong hold on you right now. And you know, sometimes it's hard to see for ourselves what got us. But where you at right now ain't what you always do. Oh, have mercy. None of us. God is working on us, and he's still working on us. That's why he said, I'm working on you today until my return. Because there's still some things I got to work out of you. Yes, yes. There's still some things. I thank God for that. Yes, thank you, Lord. I thank God for that. But I also know I got to acknowledge some things. Alcoholic. Never get cured of alcohol till you acknowledge she's an alcoholic. So what part? What part of that can you be hooked on to? What part of that? I'm not going to say we're allergic to God. No, we're not allergic to God. But what's some of the addictions up there? No, I'm missing. Some stronger than others. And we can look at them, but there's others too. What about gossiping? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I heard this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. If I start off with one person, say something. By the time they got the mother Lord, the whole it's script will be changed. Different. That's right. That's right. It's going to change. And the reason being because some of us got to add our own little input to it. Mm -hmm. Oh, y'all know what I'm talking about. Because it's not juicy enough when you get it. No. So you got to add a little bit to it to make it a little bit juicy. That's right. What about gossip? Right. <laughs> backbite, back, uh, backbite ain't up there, but it's, we do that. Talk behind people's back. Don't we do that? Yes, sir. Amen. Mm -hmm. Real. Yeah, we do. Real. Yeah, we do. What about when somebody made us mad? Oh, we really get on the phone. Sister so-and-so, she did this to me, and brother so-and-so did that to me. What about before you get on that phone, you pray? And what about one of the famous ones? I'm going to give him a piece of my mind. <laughs> Lord knows. That, I'm going to tell y'all, man. If I was God, that would be one thing. Every time you say that, I'll let a piece of your mind go. Oh, no. <laughs> At about three or four, I guarantee you, when you saw your head shrinking, I guarantee you, you won't say that no more. I'm going to give him a piece of my mind. You don't have nothing to give anyway. I mean, if I were God, every time somebody said that, he said, I'm bringing you After three or four times, they won't say that no more. That'll be a statement. They won't even say it. They might write it, but they ain't going to say it. I mean, I'm just, I just want you to think. Think. Because we see what time it is. Oh, yes. But how much of the time are we participating in the what's going on? How much? Y'all with me? Amen. 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 Give God some praise. Simple church. <laughs> Sometimes God just want to teach us some things. Yes. 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 He want to just oh, let us yeah. know that the fact is we need to quit looking at everybody else and look at ourselves. Yes. Yes. He wants us to be real with ourselves. Because yes. only real with ourselves can be real with everybody else. A lot of times when I'm talking to folks and I'm witnessing the folks, I tell them quick, 